Good morning, everybody. I am Omni Russell. Welcome back to a quick and dirty oxygen not and included, <laughs> I messed up my own words, uh, tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about scheduling, or scheduling if you're dirty. Scheduling is a mysterious and often confusing thing in Oxygen Not Included, but there's several different things that you can take advantage of uh, in order to help your duplicates morale. It's mostly about morale, it can also be used for other things. So first on uh, morale, we will notice that uh, there's the work time. This is of course when duplicates do your work. If they need to go to the bathroom, they'll go to the bathroom. If they're starving, uh, they will go get food, etc. But mostly they try and save those for the uh, downtime. Downtime is when they will do all of their leisure activities, socializing with friends, if you have a water cooler or anything like that. And uh, when they also save for going to the bathroom. They're supposed to be saving going to the bathroom for their bath time, because that's what it says in the description. But I can tell you that that is a lie. They will definitely save it for when they are in their downtime, which is very strange. But generally, this is when uh, they will eat, when they will use your espresso machine, your jukebox, your arcade machines, if you wanna take off the power, stuff like that. Uh, but this is when downtime goes. Now, the next one is bath time. Like I said, it says bathroom or use in the shower or washing their hands. That's not right. That is an old description. It has not been updated. I'm pretty sure since the beginning of the game, uh, since the game was released. But what it does is this is when they will use the shower. Uh, it starts out at the beginning of the day when you first start the game. I change it to the end of the day because when they use the showers, this is when they can get rid of the sopping wet debuff, the grimy debuff. And this will also help mix with uh, uh, in their morale with the uh, negative 20% that they get when they are sleeping. If I can catch somebody sleeping here. Apparently, nobody wants to sleep right now, even though it is nighttime. That's strange. Somebody will sleep eventually. Anyway, uh, during the nighttime, they have a negative 20% to all stress effects during the day. Uh, they will also get a negative 20... Or they will also, if they have the sopping wet debuff from traveling through a bunch of water, they will get a uh, plus 20% of their stress stuff, or negative, depending on how you want to read it. Uh, if they have sopping wet feet, like this guy does here, soggy feet will be a plus 10%. That's it, plus 10%. And uh, the shower will also get rid of that. So basically, you're canceling out the stuff that you would normally get from soggy feet or from uh, sopping wet in your stress by putting showering at the end of the day. And when they're asleep, you can see sleep is negative 20% per cycle while they're asleep. There's a bunch of other things you can add into stress, but stress is a video for another day. So next, we'll go into their sleep time. When you start the game, sleep time has three bars in it. The three bars are not necessary. They only use two. If they actually get back to their beds and they actually do sleep, they only actually need two. And at two, they are well rested. If they get a third one, they're just wasting a bunch of time that could be better spent working, working for the colony. So now we're going to go on to moving people into the different things. Actually, we're going to go back to downtime because I just remembered downtime is a very important thing for morale if you want to use it that way. One moment. Let me just. Uh, yeah, I, I see you. I see you, operator, too. Anyway, we'll go back into the downtime because it's a very important thing in downtime, which you can play around with a little bit. If you're finding that in skills, you are unable to reach the amount of morale that you need to keep your duplicates going, or there's something that happens, such as duplicates getting hurt, uh, or they just need a little bit of extra morale for a short period of time until you've set up a new morale thing, such as a jukebox, uh, juke bot, sorry, I forget that he's a robot, he is his own entity, I will not, I will not dissuade him from that, or you're trying to set up a whole bunch of decor that will really help out with all of your, uh, with all your duplicates of morale, what you can do in scheduling is actually put some more downtime. And you see here, when it says downtime morale, they will gain more downtime up to a maximum of plus four. I try and give them at least four because during this time, they will also be heading back to the base. If you've got a remarkably large base with very long travel times, then it's good to give them more downtime because they'll actually be traveling back to home. If they don't do this, they might not get back in time to actually enjoy your jukebox or your espresso machine or eating. They might come back 
spend like a couple seconds eating and then waste a little bit of their sleep time trying to eat. So I give them a little bit more downtime if they need it, but generally work time is what you're trying to prioritize to. As long as you got two, si two, two I guess, sections, hours? I don't know what these are called, of sleep. But uh, that is the point of getting more downtime. It'll give them more downtime morale when they're using their downtime. If you take this down a bit, it will go down to zero plus one at, or plus one, plus two, plus three, etc. Another thing that I do specifically with my downtime is I, I, I use it to say during their downtime or their bath time, who is using what in my bathrooms and my showers. This way, I've only got four bathrooms, four showers, in my entire base. The entire base only has four of each. This is because my scheduling, I've got a little bit set off by at least two hours here so that nobody, well, I mean, they will be sharing a little bit of downtime, but by the time four people have used these bathrooms, they're done in the two hours it's gonna take for the next shift to go back into their downtime. Nobody will be using all the bathrooms at once. Nobody will be using all the showers at once. Everybody will actually have a chance to use these. This way, I don't have to waste a bunch of time in my little apartments. I don't have to waste a bunch of time in my base, setting up a whole bunch of bathrooms and a whole bunch of sinks and a whole bunch of showers. I don't have to get one for every single dupe. I can just have four and it's good. You don't have to do this. You can set up personalized apartments for every single dupe, but it's up to you what you'd like to do. So that's basically how scheduling works. Now, a couple things I'm gonna cover really quick is bathrooms and showers, and how you can take advantage of a couple things to make them work for a little bit of extra duplicate morale. Uh, for example here, I've got doors, uh, pneumatic doors on each side of my bathrooms and showers. See, I've got all my sinks over here, all my lavatories right here. The reason behind this, this pneumatic door here will allow dupes in from the left side to the right side, without using, uh, without, uh, so they can actually just go in and use the lavatory, but they cannot go out the left side, they have to pass by a sink. The interesting things about sinks is if dupes have germs on them, they will always stop at a sink to wash off those germs. So this way, they will always come in, they will always use the lavatory, they will always pass by a sink. Sinks, of course, are either way. They can come in the left side if they want, they can leave if they want, but that's what it is. You want to make sure if your dupes are using a lavatory that they will always pass by a sink or they will always pass by a wash basin. That way they will always wash all of the germs off of themselves and you do not have the germs from the lavatory, which will always have a lot of food poisoning germs. Make sure they always pass by a sink so it spreads all the way to your water reclamation system or whatever you use to get rid of germs or to allow water back into your system, but it does not go to your duplicates. As long as it doesn't go to your duplicates, that's fine. You can see over here, like I was talking about in my water reclamation video, uh, extra water will go up here to this pitcher pump so it can be used in my supercomputer. But since there might be a little bit of germs coming from the food germs that are in the dirty water coming from the lavatories, and it might go in here, we might get some food poisoning germs. We don't right now, because I've got a lot of chlorine in here, but that's not here or there. But I make sure that there's a sink right there. That way, if any dupes grab water and pass by the sink, they will get rid of all the germs that they've gotten from picking up everything from the pitcher pump. Same thing in here. If there's any food poisoning germs, it will not get on the food. You can set this to left or right, doesn't really matter. What matters is if anybody grabs food, if anybody's coming out of here with food poisoning germs, if food gets left behind, it becomes a rot pile. They will pass by the sink, they will get rid of those germs. So, showers. Showers are another great morale thing. Like I said, they get rid of the soggy feet debuff, they get rid of grimy, they get rid of sopping wet. What I have also done with my showers is make it so, again, only four at a time, because you only need four if you go with that kind of scheduling thing where you kind of uh, make a tiered system. So there's only, there's two hours, there's only four people using it at once. That's what scheduling is for. You can decorate the room. And what I've also done with this room is I've used pips and uh, two little things of sandstone that I left behind to make it into, with the park sign, I made it into a park. When they come in here, they will get the park bonus. They will get plus three morale from this. 
It's a cute little trick you can play. You can also put statuary around and whatnot to make sure the decor is good. And decor is an interesting thing, which we will cover in another video. Uh, because, for example, when they are in the bathrooms, you can have diamond tiles that they can look through and they will get a better decor bonus. Anybody using the sink will get the decor bonus from this uh, gigantic genius marble statue. Anybody using this lavatory here, which lavatories are, of course, uh, let's see, looks like negative nine even though i made these of uh, pretty good material uh they they are very very low decor so you don't just want bathrooms on their own you want a little bit of decor that they can take advantage of for some reason this bathroom is only getting the decor from this portrait it's not getting the decor from the giant griffin up there that's weird anyway you can uh you can spread decor a little bit by using diamond window tiles which of course are plus 10 decor and are see-through so decor will be shared around them I didn't share it down here, I just used carpeted tiles, which are a decor plus 13, but don't share it with around them because down here I've got a lot of industrial machinery, whatnot. So, there's a little bit on decor, a little bit on bathrooms, a little bit on how sinks work to stop spreading germs, and of course a lot on scheduling. I've been Omni Rusted, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time.